Welcome back to Bloomberg TV Africa's special coverage of the World Economic Forum on Africa. Afri-capitalism is an economic philosophy that describes growth on the continent through boosting private sector investment. Uche Okoronko caught up with Tony Alumalu of Ez Holding to find out what this actually means. In 1997, I led a group of uh, Nigerian finance and banking professionals to take over a defunct distressed bank. We took over the bank and changed the name to Standard Trust Bank. We developed a three-tier strategic intent. First tier being to turn around the banks into distress. Second tier intent being to grow, make the bank the leading bank, commercial bank in Nigeria. And third tier intent was to turn this bank to a Pan-African bank with presence in global financial centers. And as we did this, we realized that whilst we're making money, we're actually touching or impacting mankind and society. And so 14, 15 years later, I thought I should share this experience in a much more global landscape. Mm -hmm. And hence, I propounded the concept of Afri philosophy of African capitalism, which is uh, we call on the private sector to invest long term in key sectors that help to create both economic prosperity and social wealth simultaneously. Mm -hmm. And what we have seen in the world in recent times for that support this kind of investment philosophy. And this is what continues to drive all the investments we make at S Odin's, be it power investment. We invest in power sector because we want to make money. But equally important, we want to touch mankind and society, try to help to increase access to electricity. We invest in agriculture, we make money, but we actually get people more engaged productively, help people to increase their farm produce. We invest in healthcare, we make money, but also help to assure a healthy workforce for the society. So these are things that we do that reinforce our concept of philosophy of African capitalism. Mm. Today you are the founder of Ayers Holdings. Can you uh, explain to us uh, more about the business and how has Afri capitalism influenced uh, your investments? So Ayers Holdings is an African investment proprietary company. We invest in key sectors of African economy. We invest in power. We invest in oil and gas. We invest in agriculture. We invest in real estate and hospitality. We invest in healthcare. And what drives our investment is uh, the need is African capitalism in terms of the philosophy, which is the intersection of doing good, doing well, and doing good. We like to invest at this stage in sectors that create both financial, decent financial returns, mm -hmm. as well as social, uh, social, social, positive social impact. When we invest in power sector, for instance, we are making money. We we'll make money by investing in power sector, but also helping to increase access to electricity because we know the value, the benefits of what increased access to electricity can do for Nigeria, for Africa. When we invest in agriculture, we invest in agriculture to make money. But we know that by making money in agriculture, we're actually helping to engage a lot more people. We're helping farmers who ordinarily uh, have their produce wasted, lost. We're helping them to make sure that the farm produce have economic value. When we invest in commodity exchanges, we invest in commodity exchanges, we're making money, but equally important, or more importantly, we're helping farmers to have positive price discovery, transparent price discovery, enabling farmers to have good value for their produce. So this philosophy of African capitalism, which is driven by the mindset of long-term investing, driven by investment in key sectors, and driven by economic prosperity and social well being done simultaneously, largely, influences what as audience does today in the investment landscape. But where in Africa are you putting your investments? We have investments in 21 African countries. 
we have both Francophone, uh, Anglophone, Southern Africa, Zambia. Um, we have the recent investment we have in, our side, uh, in Africa, Southern Nigeria is in Rwanda, where we just set up the first commodity exchange in the country. And that is a pilot case, actually, because the name of the company is African Commodity Exchange, with FX. And in Rwanda, we call it EAX, East African Commodity Exchange. The intent is to set up commodity exchanges across key African economies that are strong on agriculture. You know, so we indeed are Pan-African in investment.